I have told you that RTKs, receptor tyrosine kinases, also play a role in cell survival and apoptosis. Apoptosis is programmed cell death. Basically, cells that are not needed, they are told to commit suicide for the greater good of the organism or the host which is, in which these cells are living. So let's see how these receptors, receptor tyrosine kinases can manage that. So receptor tyrosine kinases, when they bind their ligand, which is right here, they cross-phosphorylate each other. We have seen that. They activate PI3 kinase. We have talked about that as well. PI3 kinase phosphorylates PEP2 and generates a PEP3 molecule right here. This PEP3 molecule can bind proteins which have pH domain. In other cells, earlier we talked about B cells that make antibody. In other cells, there is protein called PDK1, which basically is abbreviation is, which abbreviates for phosphatidyl inositol phosphate dependent kinase 1. So this molecule, of course, has a plextrin domain, which allows it to bind PEP3 and become activated. Remember, this is a kinase. K stands for kinase here. It can add phosphate groups to its substrate molecules. In this case, the substrate is PKB, protein kinase B. Protein kinase B also has pH domain. This pH domain allows this PKB molecule also to be recruited to the plasma membrane. Just like we saw in the previous example, this exercise allows these two molecules to come in close vicinity because one of them is the enzyme and the other one is a substrate. So when these enzymes, both of them are enzymes, they're in close vicinity on the underside or the cytoplasmic side of the plasma membrane, the PDK phosphorylates PKB. When PKB is phosphorylated, it goes through a conformational change that allows this molecule PKB to dislocate or dissociate from the phosphatidyl inositol phosphate, triphosphate, and move to the cytoplasm. I would like to mention here that PKB is also referred to as AKT in some literature. So if you are reading uh, somewhere AKT, you should know that it is basically PKB. So PKB comes to the cytoplasm. Here it phosphorylates several proteins. One of them is BAD. This protein BAD right here is basically inhibiting a protein that inhibits apoptosis. So active protein, this death inhibitory protein in its active form inhibits apoptosis. So when BAD is phosphorylated, it releases this protein and it allows this protein to do its job, which is to keep cell alive. If the PKB is not activated, BAD is not phosphorylated, the cell will go through apoptosis. Active BAD will go and tell the cellular machinery that cell needs to go through apoptosis. So basically, this PKB is promoting cell survival. PKB also promotes cell survival by inhibiting other cell death activators, in some cases by inhibiting the transcription of the genes that encode them. So PKB plays a very important role in cell survival. We will continue our discussion about receptor tyrosine kinases in the next module.